Hello everyone! We are traveling with caravan and want to share some of our experience. Today we are going to talk about two roads and ferries. And how to plan your road without extra expenses and stress during your road trip. Let's, Let's go! go. Toll roads. If you travel in Norway by car, you will have to use toll roads anyway. Many toll roads are on national roads, but also tunnels, bridges and around main cities. Use of toll roads registered automatically without any stop on the road. Owners of AutoPass tax receive invoice by email, but foreign car owners will receive invoice by the post. Prices are usually shown on the road sign before toll road stations. If the sign is missing, you can find prices on website autopass.no. Now let's talk about ferries. National roads may include ferries on your way. Driving around ferry crossing may take several hours and hundreds of kilometers, or simply be impossible. Of course, you will have to pay for the use of the ferries, and prices are quite high and vary depending on the type of the vehicle. Normally, ticket price groups are for the vehicles up to 6 meters, from 6 to 10, and over 10 meters long. This is why traveling with caravan will be quite expensive. Here is an example of prices for ferry between Horten and Moss in 2020. Depending on your plans, there might be quite a lot of toll roads and ferries on your way. And this is why we would recommend to plan your road in advance and check your additional expenses on this special website. Please note that the prices for ferries are calculated for cars up to 6 meters, so if you are traveling with a caravan, better check prices on the website of ferry crossings you intend to use. And now two life hacks to save your money on the most intensive ferry crossing in Norway between Horten and Moss. Life hack number one. If you are in Horten or in Moss, you can take a free cruise on the ferry over Oslofjord and take a walk in the city on the other side. First, park your car and take a ferry as a passenger. From 2017, passengers travel absolutely free of charge. On the ferry you will have open air decks, free internet and cafe. Life hack number two. Traveling with caravan over Oslo Fjord costs 600 krones and takes about 50 minutes. But there is an option to cross Oslo Fjord using the tunnel. Tunnel is located up north near Dröbäck and depending on your road will require just another 30 minutes. And what is most important for travelers, from 2016 the tunnel is absolutely free and open 24 hours a day. Few words about private roads. Driving off the main roads you can often meet the sign of the private road and road barrier. And these are another toll roads in Norway. It's hard to find any information about these roads online. Here you should be well prepared in advance to avoid any unnecessary stress and time waste. You have to pay for the use of the road and there are three common ways to pay. First and the easiest but least popular credit card. Just pay and put the receipt under the front window. The second and most common is cash. Take the envelope from the box nearby, fill out the form and tear it off. This will be your payment receipt. Put the money into the envelope and drop into the box. This is why you should carry cash traveling in Norway and don't forget about pen and pencil. Third option is to use mobile app Vips. But unfortunately, you will need an account in Norwegian bank. So if you don't have an account in local banks, don't waste your time trying to set it up. Today, there is no map with all private roads, but as per our experience, most of private roads are in national parks, remote locations or private owned properties. The key to pleasant traveling without stress and loss of time is planning. But even when you plan the whole road, prepare cash and even the pen, you should remember that traveling by roads in Norway takes much more time than your GPS calculations. This happens due to waiting time for the next ferry, especially at high season during summer vacations due to long queues on the popular tourist roads. Also remember to check timetable of all ferries on your road. Not all of them are regular and some of them make only several crossings every day.
For example, the busiest ferry crossing Horten Moss doesn't have any departures from midnight to 5 am. Take into account that tunnels are often closed for maintenance at night, but maintenance of smaller tunnels is hard to predict. Alternative roads are normally short, but much slower. Closing time of main tunnels at national roads is known in advance and can be checked online. For example, Oslo Fjord tunnel status may be checked here. More tips about traveling by car in Norway we will explain in our next videos. If you have any questions, write a comment under this video. If this video was useful, don't forget to press like and subscribe, it's important for us. Also, we post videos from our road trips and videos from drone in the most beautiful places of Norway. So, so don't, don't forget, forget to subscribe! To subscribe. Thank you and see you again!